Welcome to Fortune Debate, where we discuss the issues of the day. Today, we're talking about the future of work. Many companies have had their employees working from home as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. David, do you believe that this is a sustainable new way of working for the future? I think that there are some new opportunities that are being discovered, but I think there are also a lot of limitations. I mean, most obviously, all of us who are stuck at home are still relying on the people who are, you know, delivering the food that we eat, taking care of the infrastructure. Uh, so it's important not to forget that. But I also think that, um, you know, those of us who are lucky enough to work in the knowledge economy, uh, we rely on a lot of rich interactions on a day-to-day -day basis to, you know, forge relationships, make sure that we're sharing ideas, collaborate. And I do think that doing that at home is not as effective as being able to be in the same space with people in an office, interacting moment to moment. And yet I believe that a lot of businesses are actually finding uh, and being astounded by the fact that they can get a lot of work done without having anybody in person uh, at one site. Uh, you know, a lot of companies are stuck in this industrial paradigm of having their workers clock in and clock out. And they've been doing it because they've always done it. It's habitual. It is the the habit of the uh, of the workforce, but it's actually unnecessary. I mean, just look at us at Fortune Magazine. You know, we are shipping magazines remotely now, filing stories remotely, and using all of this software as the glue. Whether it's Slack that helps you chat with your office mate, uh, or Zoom that puts you in contact with sources through teleconferencing, uh, there is so much you can do over the wire, over the internet. Uh, that companies have had not considered prior. And, and yet, even in those cases, there are limitations, right? Like if you're discussing something highly sensitive, you might be worried that your Zoom meeting could in, get invaded by people who aren't welcome, which has been happening. Um, there are technological limitations to certain jobs. If you need like high powered video editing equipment, that might only be in one place. Um, there are people who are uh, equities traders who have to have direct access to certain systems. Um, so there are those technological limits and those security limits on top of, again, the, the sort of value of direct human interaction. There are definitely security concerns. Zoom, for instance, was not prepared uh, for all of the, uh, the issues that have arisen uh, affecting that company. Um, but at the same time, I think that employees, having had a taste of working from home, are also now going to demand it of their employers. Uh, it's now going to be a benefit. They're going to seek better work-life balances, uh, and companies that enable their workforce in that way are going to get the best talent. And there are some efficiencies. So for example, if you're not commuting for two hours a day, that's more time to rest and more time potentially to work. Um, so maybe there's a balance that's going to be struck here out of this. Some people who haven't had the option will demand it and will get it. That's all the time we've got today. Visit fortune.com to continue the conversation.